Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Today I am bringing you my January wrap up, February plans for my cross stitch. Uh, I worked on two, three, four challenges this month. The acrostic challenge, the year of the dragon, whip and sip, and I think it's called the big four and 24. Big spooky four in 2024. Um, I did a little over 4,000 stitches for the month. Maybe 4,100, 4,200, somewhere around there. Um, I combined all the <clears throat> challenges, so I had 13 projects I worked on. So I will go in order of how I did them, or not how I did them, but what I had down for my acrostic challenge. So the first one I had was Christmas Horse. The acrostic was Healthy Habits. Um, so Christmas Horse was a new start. This was my January 1st start actually. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's going to take me quite a while. I don't have a before picture, but... Well, I mean, I have a before, but it was just the canvas. This is going to be a rambly one, I'm sure. And this is what I got done on it. It's not a whole lot, not really exciting, but... I accomplished my goal, which was 200 stitches, and I think I did exactly 200 stitches on this. So like I said, this one is going to take me a while, which most of these are actually, especially if I'm only doing 200 stitches at a time on them. But it's fun to work on. This one is really stiff, so it wasn't quite as fun to work on, but as I work on it, it'll soften up a little bit. It won't be as awkward. <laughs> Alright, next, whoops, we had, I have them in the wrong project bag. Alright, so next was crystal ball, or dragon crystal ball. I chose it because it looks like it has a little earth in its balls. And I wanted to do 400 stitches on this because this is um, also the one I'm working on for Year of the Dragon. One of the ones I'm working on. So it's 100 stitches per week. And I, so I, sorry, my cat's coming to visit. So I did 400 stitches on this. So a little more progress than on the other one. This one's not as big, so it won't take me as long. It's got nice big blocks of collar, so it's kind of nice to work on. I think I did two collars in this, like a really dark navy blue and a black. I look forward to getting back to this one, because I will be working on this all year or until it's done, whichever comes first. Next one was a girl stitching, and this was also a new start. Oh, sorry, that was a new start too, and this was also a new start. I will have links to everything that I can that are that are still available. Sorry, the cat's moving stuff in my description box if you're interested in any of these kits. Okay, let's see if I have a picture. focus. If the cat would stop moving the camera. Anyway, it's just a girl sitting and stitching in her room. I thought I had a bigger picture of her. I don't know. Maybe not. 
Okay, so I wanted to do 200 stitches on her, and I did. I guess I could be telling you how many I actually did, because I haven't written down. My Christmas horse, I did 269. I wanted to do 200. On the Dragon Crystal Ball, I want to do 400. I did 400. On a girl stitching, I want to do 200. I did 215. This is another large canvas. So it is going to take me a while. Where did I work on her at? Oh, this collar. See, even I couldn't tell. So I'm sure it's not showing up well on the camera. Let's get up close. There we go. So I did a little bit of this cream collar. And then I did some of this really light green. I think it's curtains. So yeah, not a whole lot of progress, but this one is also fun to work on. It's got nice blocks of collar. Or I don't know if you call those blocks, but it flows pretty well. It's easy to keep stitching. Get her out of the way. The cat is just all up in my business. Next was Pumpkin Witch. Right one. No, I did not. The cat is really throwing me off. I'm working around him. There she is. So, Pumpkin Witch, I wanted to do 400 stitches, and I did exactly 400 stitches on her. She was also a new start. This is what she's going to look like. Most of these are stamped. There are a few counted. I think maybe two I worked on this month counted. And she, I just started on top. So I did my 400 stitches just along the top. I think four four different collars I worked on. This is another one I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm going to be working on her for at least three months because she is also part of my big spooky four in 24. So I'm working on her for three months and then I'll switch to another project for three months and it is a hundred stitches per week. But she was my L in healthy because she has laces on her sleeves, so L for laces. The curious who does what challenges the, um, Near the Dragon, The Big Spooky Four, and another one I'm in, Winter Whip and Sip, are all through the Halloween Cross Stitch Challenge Facebook group. And then the acrostic I get from the 24 Hours Across Stitch group. And I'm also, I also did a January Stitching Challenge, which was Late Night Stitchers, and I'll be join, doing their monthly challenges. So actually I was in five challenges this month. Sorry, I'm all over the place, I know. I really love her. She's one of my absolute favorite. Her and that Christmas horse, I think, were my favorite st stitching kits that I received for Christmas. So next was tea. So I did woman reading. She has Totoro in there, so it's here for Totoro. Um, this is not a new start, so I will try to make sure I have a picture up right now of where I started. This is what she's going to look like. 
I wanted to get 200 stitches done on her and I got 201. She's a pillow cover, so she's a little awkward to work on at times. But I already had some of this up here done, so I just continued working down in the dark colors. Next time, I'll probably just continue working down the side. I plan on having her out, if not monthly, then at least close to it this year because I just, I really like this piece and I want to get as much stitched on it as possible without getting burned out. That's why I do challenges. So I'm constantly changing up what I'm working on. All right, next is one that you have seen before if you've watched my channel and you will be seeing again because I absolutely love this piece and this is Big Eye Girl. I did her for H for hat because she's wearing a hat. I wanted to do 200 stitches for the acrostic challenge but I'm also working on her for whip and set so I worked on her three weeks I did 226 the first week for the acrostic challenge and then I did an additional 194 for the third week of January and 202 for the fourth week of January on her. I'm doing her for the whip and sit which is which is a two month challenge. I think it's a minimum of 100 stitches per, per week. I'm working on three different projects for that one. So actually I worked on 14 kits this month. I forgot about one. But here I will try to have a picture up, maybe right here, for where I started. And this is what she looks like right now. Her eyes are just gorgeous. I don't know what the kit name is. This one I got from another YouTuber. So I did not buy this one myself but um she she looks like Lydia from Beetlejuice she has a camera she has that big hat pale with dark hair so I kind of think of her as Lydia I'm saying the right name right Lydia Dietz anyway but her eyes I really need to finish this part I did a little over 400 stitches on her this month. So long way to go. And all that black, all this dark, this blue, this is all black. It's going to be just a lot of black. But I love working on this one. I like how she looks. And I look forward to working on her again next month. Or well, in this month since I am technically recording really early in the morning on February 1st. All right. I'm trying to get through this fast, but I got a lot. Kittens in Basket was my next piece. This was another new start. Chose Kittens in Basket for why? Because there's yellow in it really couldn't think of a whole lot to go with why this is what it's gonna look like so cute I wanted to do 200 stitches and I did 224 so definitely met my goal I still have floss just hanging this one might take me a little bit, but it's, it's got variation and good blocks of color, so it's going to be fun to work on. I'm going to try to keep this one out too often this year. But I just worked along here in this light minty green. I don't know if you can tell. And then a white. Or maybe an off-white, like a cream. That is where I got to on that one. As I said, any links 
will be in my description box as long as they're still available I think. I got this and the girl stitching from AliExpress and then the other ones are from a variety of places. Some of them I have discount codes for the site so make sure you check out lower in the description box I have a list of discount codes. Okay next red hair girl. If you've seen my, my videos before you've probably seen her. I have a picture up of where I started. I think I've only worked on her once for maybe November. I think that was when I started her. That's what she's going to look like. I wanted to do 200 stitches on her and I did 209. This was one of the last ones I worked on. I was really struggling to get this challenge done. She's 18 count and I was trying to do her at work but it's kind of dim in there and my eyes were so tired so I had to bring her home and do her and I just was working on this owl and I just worked a little bit around the eye and down a little bit still in that same cream collar looks more white on my monitor but it's a cream she's gonna be beautiful and I'm going to keep, try to keep including her in my monthly challenges because I really like her and I really want to work on her. It's just that 18 count, the older I get, the more my eyes do not like the uh, larger count fabric, the smaller holes. And for some reason, I have so much trouble finding the holes on this Ada. Even though, I mean, it's... You can see them, but it's like my needle don't want to go through them, and I'm using a tiny needle, so I don't know what's going on with this one, but it was slightly frustrating, but not as much as one I'm going to show you a little bit later. Oops. i put my chart back with her. I've actually had to use the chart a lot because the print on the canvas is so small that sometimes I can't see what symbol I'm looking at. And I was getting two of them confused because they were similar in color too. Alright, next is Shopping Witch, another one that I absolutely love. And I started, I think, in November for the first acrostic challenge I did. This one is, I call her Shopping Witch. I think she was called like Girl Shopping or I don't remember. But I love this one so much. I mean, most of them I'm doing, obviously, I, I love or I wouldn't be working on them. A lot of these I chose, a lot of these I got through collaborations with different sites. She is another pillow cover. I love pillow covers. I have decided, <laughs> since I've worked on a couple now, and I want more. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, the back out of the way. And with her, I'm working from the bottom corner. So I'd already done some of this. So I worked on a little bit more of this. And then I started on a lighter color. Because this was very confetti heavy. So I wanted to do more of a block. And Another one that I think is going to be just lovely. And I'm going to try to keep bringing out monthly. Um, I think she's one of them I'm going to be working on for one of the other challenges. Yeah, I'm going to be working on her for the second quarter of the Spooky 4 and 24. So if I don't get much stitching time on her between now and then and the fourth month of the year we'll have her out and we'll be working on her weekly for three months so yeah, we'll look forward to getting some progress done on her shopping which I wanted to do 200 stitches and I did exactly 200 stitches okay next is when I actually did some of the most progress on this month. 
and she is one of my absolute favorites and I think she's going to be one of my favorites whenever she's done too. She is going to go on my wall. This one I'm actually going to see about getting framed. I call her Usagi. I don't know if that's how you say it, but girl. Usagi is like, I think it's Japanese for rabbit. Whenever I tried to find what these masks were called, that's the word that kept popping up. She was a new start. Um, I'm do I did her for the acrostic, but I also did her for um, the January challenge through Late Night Stitchers, which was a minimum of 750 stitches for the month of January. And I did 772 stitches on her. Isn't she going to be gorgeous? But I w focused on the mask and I'm going to carry her over into the February monthly challenge so there will be another 750 stitches done on her. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep going around the mask and the eye or if I'm going to start moving. I don't know. It's just, I love her and I want to work on all the different parts, but I also want to try to get a lot done in one area at a time so I can just, it's easy to see the progress. We will see, but I look forward to working on her this month. Probably work on her weekly, but I might just sit down and get all of them done at once. Who knows? I'm very changeable. I'm a mood stitcher. She was a new start. A lot of these new starts, or maybe all of the new starts this month, all but one was gifts I got for Christmas. If you haven't seen my Christmas unboxing video, so all of the new starts this month except for one were from 7th grade, which I have a discount code for, I believe, in my description box. Next was the most frustrating kit I have. I do not enjoy working on this, but I want to get it done. This is called Castle and Bottle. I don't really have a good picture because the picture on here is blurry. But it's a train going around a castle in a bottle. And it's basically supposed to be like Harry Potter inspired. I've seen other people work on this and they have better kits than me or something. This is a counted on, I believe, 14 count, but for some reason, I just keep messing up. I should have a picture right now of what it looked like before, but I keep miscounting. I keep having to frog it, just ripping it back, ripping it back, ripping it back, and uh, some of this stuff I just left because I didn't realize I had miscounted until I had, because it's confetti. It's all confetti. So it's all just like cross country and stretching long distances. And by the time I realize I've miscounted somewhere, then it's way too late to go back and rip out. I mean, some of them, especially through here, is where I've been working on. And some of them I caught almost immediately and ripped them out. And over here, there was this somewhere in here, I ripped out three times because like one time I was over too far. And then after I did that twice because I was over too far twice then I realized I was down a row farther than I was supposed to be so that was so frustrating so yeah you should be able to tell from the side by side comparison but I did I filled in a little bit more up here and then I did a lot not a lot but I worked through here and my goal was 200 stitches or two hours I have no idea how many stitches but I, I did actually slightly over two hours on this the most frustrating kit and this I was talking about that one not being able to get my needle through for some reason I can never find the hole from the back and sometimes I can't find it from the front and part of it's just like once I have any thread any floss through it it's like the needle does not want to come back through want to see this messy back so it's going to get even worse as I go along because it's going to be really thick and it's going to be hard to get my needle through and find the holes. 
but I did this to myself and I am going to continue working on it because it is a long way to go and I want to see if it turns out halfway nice because I was kind of worried because it's only it's got 29 colors but I'm worried that it's going to turn out blurry like the picture and it looks nothing like some of the other ones I've seen people do the other ones are so pretty and this is just kind of meh anyway I'll stop complaining about this if I ever get it done I probably won't even have to do a review vid video on this because I've talked about it so many times in my videos but I got this through I, I believe one day saving and I will put a link and the discount code is in there if I have one for that side. but I don't not recommend it but I don't recommend it either if that makes sense I'm kind of trying to withhold judgment but it's just been frustrating for me and I think I need to stop doing a lot of counted cross stitch apparently because apparently I can't count anymore okay the next one was one I'd had for years and never started so it's a new start I got this from AliExpress I believe but it is no longer available I got it open. I don't even know 2016 or something the little girl standing higher it's a gorgeous doll absolutely love I love it I love her um, I wanted to do 200 stitches and I did 201 I did a little bit you can tell I have some messed up stitches in there for some reason the thread kept nodding up on me and snagging especially on my horrible nails and then I started on her hair so yeah long way to go on this one but I think she's gonna be really cute I have like three colors in and you can't even tell black and brown and that cream collar I don't have any plans on working on her this month I don't believe but I'm gonna keep her out in my little whip bin so I can work on her if I have extra time this month or if she comes up for another challenge at some point this year and then the final one for the acrostic challenge was another new start and this is stained glass dragon I wanted to do 200 stitches I did 225 um, do I have a picture? That's what it's gonna look like. It's another one my husband got for me. It's another one that's not too big. I mean, it won't quite fit on screen. There we go. But I just worked through here. Whenever I look at it, it just doesn't look like I did that many stitches. And I guess 225 is not many, but I did some blues and some dark blues. And this one is going to be keep going to keep coming out also. It's one of the ones I want to work on for Year of the Dragon. And then I also worked on, if I could find it, this one called Kittens. There it is. And this one I worked on for the Whip and Sip. For January and February challenge. And this is a Riolos kit. Riolis kit. I don't mind saying it. That's what it's going to look like. I put 350 ish. It was somewhere between 300 and 400. I kept losing count, but I know it's at least 350 stitches in week two of January. Whoops, that's the back. And this is where I am. Hopefully I'll have a picture up 
right here of where I started. I mostly just worked, I think, around the face in the books. Or the book. I love working on this kit. The fabric's kind of scratchy, but it's soft. But the the floss is not a normal not a normal cotton floss. It's a wool and acrylic mix. Calls it yarn on here. And it's so soft. Kind of frays a little bit. But yeah, I really enjoy working on this. I don't know why I had it put away for so many years. I mean, obviously it is a counted. So I'm 14 count. It says 20, 20 collars. It doesn't come on floss cards or floss drops like other kids either. It has a little, I wanted to call it a legend card that shows you what color each, each number is. And then it just, everything is just in these little bundles and they're so soft. So you have to color match and figure out which color each one is. So this one's like number five or is it 14? No, nope, it's number five. A couple of them are similar in color, but usually if you have at least halfway decent light, then it's easy to tell them apart. But this one I think I just got from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something, probably on clearance because most of my kits that I bought from stores were on clearance. And I haven't seen it anywhere, so I don't know if it's still available. If Riolis has a site or a lot, I've never even looked. But yeah, I love this kit. It's so cute. So those are what I did in January. Now let me show you my plans for February. Hopefully this won't take as long. I have seven new starts. I have eight new starts in January. I'm going to do seven new starts in February. Let me clean up my mess a little bit. Pause. All right, I think I'm sorted. So seven new starts, and then some of the ones that aren't new starts you've just seen, but I will show again just really quickly. But the first one is, oh, sorry. The acrostic is do what you love. Most of these I'm going to have, you know, 200 stitches go, some I have 400 or so as I go. But the first one for D, I chose this one. I do not know how this one's going to turn out because it's a DIY cross stitch. I'm not sure what it's called, so I'm just going with dark pumpkin because it's like a dark pumpkin image. It looks like the little guy off Trick or Treat. I think I said, um, is that what it's called? You anyway, I think I'd said like the skeleton or the pumpkin king or something. I was like, I don't know where I got that when I did the unboxing, which I don't know if I have uploaded yet. I don't think so. But, um, but it makes me think of the little guy off of Trick or Treat, if you've seen that horror movie. I think these are why I was thinking. I don't know. Maybe I should just cut all that rambling out. Looks like the little guys off of Nightmare Before Christmas. Then that looks like Jack Skellington's skull, kind of. Anyway, hopefully this turns out well. But anyway, this is the first one I'm doing for the acrostic in February this month. I'm going to show you, even though, you know, it's a new start, but I'm going to show you the canvas. In this one, I'm planning on doing 400 stitches because as you can tell, huge blocks of collar. So I'm just going to start up here somewhere and just do a bunch of the black. I'm gonna do 400 stitches, probably these four squares of black. And that is what I plan on doing. If I have more time towards the end of the month, maybe I will do some more, but this is the one I'm going to start tonight at work. And that will be the first one for my craft. Again, the cross stitch challenge is put on by the 24 hours of cross stitch group. I think it's a private group on Facebook. 
but this has really got me working on a variety of, of kits, so I'm glad I joined. Um, next is Harry Potter, or uh, Harry and Potter, Harry Potter inspired. I wish I could talk today. Peace. It's got an owl, so I chose O for owl. Look how cute this is. I love this art style. This is Harry. I'm assuming it's him because it's just, you know, everything in the little glasses being like getting a letter from the owl. I'm pretty sure this is called Harry Potter on the site, but again, I will list links for anything. Yeah, 200 stitches I plan on doing on this one. I'll show you the canvas. Again, I think I'm just going to start up in a corner and do some of the bigger blocks of collar. Maybe do two of these squares and skip the confetti for now and work my way over or down. Uh, 5200, so this will be like a white or is it an off-white? Anyway, and then the blue is 939, so a navy blue. So those are the two colors I'll probably work on this month. I really look forward to doing this one. I think, yeah, this is one of the ones I just got from Paint Some Way. It was not a collaboration. I bought it for myself. But I will have a link in the description box. I don't have any kind of discount code for that site. Next, I'm going to be working on the Pumpkin Witch some more another 400 stitches. I'll show you there again. So this is my starting point for February. And I think I'm just going to continue working up here, working in these, these squares. We'll see. I might go and start on wherever this red is and work through here. Who knows? I'm gonna, you know, try to stay up in the top and then work my way down instead of doing my random, random stuff I usually do. I said I was gonna try to make this fast, and here I am just rambling. Next is another new start. Another one I think from Paint Some Way. I'm going to do 200 stitches. This is a bookmark. If you know me, then you know by now I like to have a little one going. Just so I can get something completed. This is just a little Harry Potter inspired bookmark. It's counted. It's on this like, I call it vinyl. I don't know what it is. Kind of silicone fill in material. I actually enjoy stitching on this. Very shiny little tassel. But I want to do 200 stitches on this. I don't know. Hopefully that'll get me the HP and maybe part of the, the sign. I'm going to work my way from the top down. It's only five colors. That should take too long. I say, even though sometimes 200 stitches on a count it could take me forever. Um, next, I'm bringing back out a girl stitching. So you just saw her. But here is the starting point, and I'm just going to continue, I think, working on these curtains, working down this blue, which is like a, a light green, kind of a minty green. So that gets me down to that. So, so far as W H A T, so do what? And then for T, I'm picking the woman reading again, T for Totoro, because there's a little Totoro in it. I showed you her a moment ago, I believe. And that's my starting point. 
and I'll just be working down these dark, dark blues, this yellow and blue. And I plan on doing 200 stitches on her. Oops, I hit my microphone. Oops, I cannot get her back in the bag. Alright. Um, next, I am going to pull out the stained glass Zelda that I was supposed to be working on. This was supposed to be my focus piece the last month or two, and I have not been touching it. I don't think I've touched it since November. So I'm pulling this out. I'm going to do two hours on this one at least. That's another one that's counted on a smaller... I have hair all over it. Cat hair and my hair. Um, I think it's 18 count. And I cannot count. I keep messing up and having to rip it out. I'm going to continue working on these heart looking things, I believe. Do my two hours on that. That the black around it. So I'm going to try to make... That's the problem is if I try to make myself do something then I just don't do it. But I'm going to try... I keep this out so I can see it every day. And I still haven't been working on it. So I don't know what's going to get me working on it other than these challenges. But I chose that for why for yellow because there's a lot of yellow in it. Okay, another new start for O. I'm choosing three squirrels because they are outside. I might regret this, but this is another counted kit. This one I got for Christmas for my husband. It's so cute though. It's just three little squirrels sitting on a little window ledge out in the snow. Can't tell what that one's holding. It's wearing little hats. Little scarves. And it's just another 18 count. Even though I swear that looks even smaller than 18 count. Maybe that other one I'm working on is 14. But another 18 count. Even this is 8. That is a misprint. 30 by 30 centimeters. 170 by 170 stitches. I don't think I'm going to stitch the background. 3865. Because I believe the background is all this cream color, off white color. So I think I'm just going to save that for another project and just keep this up white background. And I'm going to start on the windows. Show you part of the chart and just work on this purple. It's going to be my first time working on a counted that's gridded. If, if you can see, it did not print well, but I don't think it's going to throw me off too much. I never did contact the company and let them know. I'm going to contact them and let them know and see what they say. If they're going to send me another one, I might put this off and pick something else. But for now, this is the one I'm choosing for O. It's really cute. I look forward to working on it, even though it's counted in tiny. Next, I will be working on Osagi Girl again. Um, my goal is 750 stitches because I am working on her for both this acrostic challenge and the um, February stitching challenge for late night stitchers which is a minimum of 750 stitches and again here is my starting point and as I said a while ago I'm not sure if I'm going to continue around the mask or if maybe I'm going to start in on this dark purple and start working down through here it might be easier for me to count my 750 stitches if I'm not working just in the same area I've been working with more light collars. We will see. I kind of really want to finish this eye though. Oh, I really love her. I look forward to working on her again this month. Next is another new one. Another one I got from Paint Some Way her name it's it's the Libra 
shows L for Libra. I am a Libra. So I just thought it'd be cool to have a kit called the Libra and it's very pretty. It's a new start so I don't have any starting point but I'll show you the canvas. She is very, very confetti heavy. So I think what I'm going to do for this challenge is just start on these purple X's <laughs> because it's just a big block of color. But we will see because I'm not going to start on her for a few days probably. So my mood might change. I really, really love her though. I'm tempted to start on her actually right away, but I already said I was going to do the dark pumpkin. Mood stitcher. I'll probably take both and see what I work on. I might work on both of them at work. I do work 12 hour shifts, so I tend to work on more than one thing at a time. I usually bring a lot. Plus I have homework to do though. Um, next I have another new start if I can pull it out. This one I'm calling Other Kiki because I could not figure out how to make anything fit in with another O unless I chose another owl one and I did not want to choose another owl one because I really wanted to start this. So I have two kits and I'm for Kiki's delivery service and I'm calling this one Other Kiki and my goal is to do 200 stitches on her you the canvas she's a new start so you know nothing on here yet but it's such a lovely canvas it's sparkly and it's pastelly it's really really stiff but I'm going to enjoy working on it anyway and I'm just going to start up in a corner and probably just do these two squares these three colors and these two squares I don't know why I make plans, specific plans, because sometimes, like I said, mood stitcher, sometimes I change it, but can you see the sparkle? I love how shiny it is. It's going to make it even more fun to work on, unless that's what's making it so stiff. So that's other Kiki, going to do 200 stitches on her. If you've seen Kiki's Delivery Service, let me know what you think of it. I love it. I used to watch it all the time when I was younger, but I always watched it in English. And then I had it on VHS tape of all things, and my kids grew up watching it too, which my daughter loves it also. And now I own all of the Studio Ghibli movies in their still cases. My husband got them for me for Christmas one year, and now I prefer watching them subbed instead of dubbed just seems to make it so much better. Okay, and this one for V, I'm doing Kiki. I chose this one because it has all these purple flowers, so I'm saying violet, violet flowers to fit in with the V. And this one, this one, the other one has more of a blurry picture, so I don't know how it's going to come out, but this one has a really nice clear picture and has I think it's 50, 50 colors. So I have a feeling this is going to turn out really well. I'm going to do 200 stitches on this one. Again, I'm just going to start up near the top somewhere. Work my way down. And both of the Kikis I'm hoping I will have in like a monthly rotation. Hopefully they fit into some kind of challenge every month because I love both of these images and I really want to work on them. But I'm trying to stick to the challenges and making them fit. <coughs> Having all these goals have, that's really been helping me. Alright, um, last one for the acrostic challenge is the dragon crystal ball, which I showed you a moment ago. I'm going to do another 400 stitches on this one. And I'm just going to, yeah, keep down with this navy blue and black. and do four more stitches on that. So I'm doing the acrostic challenge and then I'm also doing the whip and sip still which is the um, the kittens 
because I have three that I want to work on for that. So I've been working on and still going to continue working on the kittens, which I just showed you. So I'm going to try to do at least another, say, hundred, at least another hundred or two stitches on this. And then also for that, I'm going to work more on, get that put away. I'm trying to hurry because this is a long video. So I'll be working on that. I'm going to be working a little bit more if I can make myself because I actually have to force myself to, but I'm going to be working more on this one for the whip and sip challenge. And that's the only one of the three I'm not looking forward to. And then I'll work more on big eyed girl but I'm not sure what I did with her I think she's in this huge stack oh there she is because I just have them all stacked next to me that I've showed you but I'm going to work more on her but I don't know how many I'll probably put another like 400 stitches or something in her this month I'll just continue working on her like face and maybe start some of the black around her hair and face but you know her hair is black too. I really wish there was more colors around her head. I mean there's 42 colors in the kit but her hat and the background around her hat is just and her dress is black too. It's just a lot of black and there's not going to be a whole lot of definition in there. I feel like you're not going to be able to really tell she's wearing a hat, but I won't know until I actually get her stitched. She might surprise me. I just wish they'd done more colors in the hat. It's funny because this is one I probably wouldn't have bought, but I got it from another YouTuber that had got it, I think, as like a free kit and did not want to do it and I was like I will totally do that so she sent it to me and I actually love it I love how it's turning out all right so the acrostic the February um whip and sip or January and February whip and sip also the usagi girl you know I'm working on for the February stitching challenge I'm still working on that year of dragon which will be the Probably the crystal ball. Yeah, I'll do the crystal ball again for the year of dragon. Um, the pumpkin witch for the big spooky four in 2024. Those are my planned kits. I'll also be doing diamond painting, which I never put in these videos because, I mean, y'all, if you're on my channel, you see them enough. Uh, I still have three I'm currently working on, and then I have a couple more I plan to start this month, I believe. So those are my February goals, plans, whatever you want to call them. I hope you enjoyed seeing my January wrap up and my February goals. I hope you like some of the the kits and maybe you can go check out some of the sites. I'll have all the links in the description box. Um, let me know if you've worked on any of these, if you plan to work on any of these, if you also do any of these challenges and, and just let me know what you're doing. If you want to, my email is in the description box. You're welcome to email me anything you're working on, send me some pictures. You can follow me on my social media. Let me know if you're in any of the same Facebook groups I'm in, working on any of these challenges. And I thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.